Welcome back to another Jess Herzinski show and shocker. We're starting out talking about Andrew Cuomo. I don't know why he hasn't just skipped town yet. Resigned and just run like hell. He got that big of a lawyer which he hired. He said it's just for the nursing home. Well, now a third woman has come out. Again. I mean, how many of us are surprised? I know many people that were saying that he was the greatest thing ever since sliced bread during last year during the pandemic. He was doing this right and that right and this right and that right. And the man, the poster child, and he wrote a book about all of it. And, well, now found out he was a scumbag, like we all thought he was, at least on our side. He wasn't doing anything right. Um, covered up a lot of deaths. You know, well, underreported, covering up and to federal crime. To lie to the feds. I mean, yeah. Thought that was kind of common knowledge, but what the hell do I know? And now we're up to three women. A third accuser of a sexual harassment. And I think there was even a picture of him in one of the you know, newspapers in New York with him holding both sides of her face and apparently made inappropriate remarks. And this was at a wedding. I mean, he's just as big of a scumbag and a dirtbag. As I told everyone, I said he was like the poster child and Trump and everyone on the, you know, right are so wrong. They're doing everything wrong. And this is, ah, rah. Well, look at the numbers. Look at the underreporting. Look at how they're going into Michigan now. Hey, they're going to find something there, too. Because Whitmer is useless. There'll be a lot of states that, you know, they look at and, well... Gonna find all kinds of just bad, horrible, terrible policy and garbage that they did the whole time. Which affected many a person's life. I hope he fries, not like you know, physically, but his political career just goes bye bye. And rapidly. I mean I mean I hope he gets yeah, he should. Does he deserve jail time for under doing that for that long? That many times, like underreporting by that many numbers, let alone all this sexual harassment. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be more. They went from one to two to three really, really fast. And they seem quite credible. And, you know. and again, he came out and kind of apologized. Kind of. I mean, if that's what you want to call it. Pretty much all he did was just admit his, you know. Guilt, but spun it into it. But I didn't. When I wasn't doing anything wrong, I didn't mean anything by it. You know, the typical scumbag, corrupt, useless, just pile of garbage, dumpster fire of a human being, does. I mean, before you know, this real stuff happened. I mean, there was. I mean, like they found out about the underreporting. And remember, the first thing he did, it wasn't his fault. It was the. People that took care of the people at the facilities and brought in the food at the facilities and cleaned the facilities. And doctors and staff members. and Like, it was all of their fault that COVID got in there. And it was Trump's fault. Hell, he threw Trump under the bus right away. Shocker, because that's all they have still, if you haven't noticed. But the man has zero ability to take any accountability for anything he does. And... Mark my words, we're going to be over three by the end of the week. If I'm wrong, who knows? Buy you a beer or something one day. But I have a very strange feeling. It's going to be more than three by the end of this week because he is just a terrible, garbage human being. Like I told one person in particular last year before we pretty much stopped talking ever. Because, yeah, I was on the side of he's doing everything wrong and he's a pile of garbage. And then, you know, they did their normal, but, but, but Trump. What do you know? Look at it. Trump just wanted the numbers. He underreported because he didn't want an investigation into him and his handling of it by the DOJ, which, well, now look how nicely that's blowing up in his face. So guess what? But, 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 but Trump, nothing. He was a dirtbag. I'm a better judge of character. I don't believe stuff that comes out of the people's mouths on that side. Or most people, really, because the truth is somewhere in the middle all the time. But, yeah. Shocker again, though. Third. Four or five. Should do an over-under where it'll be by the end of the week. 
I'll think about that and get back to you. Then, for more uselessness from the left, did y'all hear about, you know, we all heard about, you know, teachers' unions in California fighting to keep, you know, in-person learning closed because it's not safe. They can't do it and not risk anything. You know, it'll never be safe enough. It's a miraculous how the president of the Berkeley Federation of Teachers was caught taking his two-year-old to in-person preschool. But it was a private school. Yeah, it's not safe for all the teachers and all you know, the president of the teachers, even for them to go and you know, actually do their job there. But the school that he brings his two-year-old to is safe to have people in person learning there. I don't know if you guys catch on to it, but it's a crock of you-know-what. It's a bunch of baloney. Malarkey. <laughs> Scumbaggery. Hypocrisy. Funny how much my show, I know, 34 now, I think. How much, all of this is just based on their lies and hypocrisy about everything. It's not safe to put any kids in school except for mine in the private school. Like, because you can't do it safe, but they're doing it safe. Which means it can be done safe. This proves the thing that I've been saying for weeks about the teachers' unions and how scummy they are, whether on this or in person with people. It has nothing to do with that. If it had anything to do with that, and it wasn't safe, why would his kid be there? It's still an in-person learning. And of course, he gets all butthurt that, you know, it's invading his privacy. Look, you know, sorry, guy. Look, you guys have been doing to people for forever. But again, it's just amazing. Another thing out of California. There seems to be lots of hypocrisy in anyone that runs anything in California. I mean, between the governor, we got mayors... We got the president of the Berkeley Federation of Teachers. I mean, it's say as I do, you know. Do as I say, not as I do. There you go. We're, you know, the, all this, we can't go back because it's not safe even though his kid's school is open. Which proves it can't be done. Can't forget Nancy in the hair salon. Gavin Newsom out a few times now. Like, they're all a bunch of hypocrites. Lying, scummy hypocrites that are making lots and lots of money. Do nothing really. Just screw stuff up. I'm sure. There's more to come from all of that, but there's a lot of places where schools have been open since August when they normally go, in some form or fashion. And notice you're not hearing about any catastrophic anything. <laughs> Wait, that's because all the liberal stations are still talking about Donald Trump because they can't let the guy go. That's how you know that. Yeah. You know, that, and they keep picking on, you know, DeSantis. But that's it. There's a lot of places. And private schools that have been open the whole time. It can't be done. Just, you know, teachers' unions. You know, all that public money and all that taxpayer funding and all kinds of good stuff. So guess what, boys and girls? If your kid isn't in school and you want them to, push back. Don't get violent. Don't attack nobody. But push back because... There's no damn reason that they can't be there in some shape or form, or at least in you know, two days, which they've been doing down here the whole time. There's a lot of different places. We're doing a lot of different things. It should not be taking this long, especially with all the studies saying it's okay to go back. Because they did all the studies with all the kids and everything. And in other countries said the same thing. Like, they can go back. Read this stuff on your own. Don't listen to the idiots. On your TV. There's real research out there. And it only takes about five seconds to type and find it. So do the world a favor. Stop being so woke. And wake the F up. The flock? Wake the flock up. Doesn't take much. And now, the thing that, you know, as I brought up wokeness, the thing that really, 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 really pissed me off, and I, thankfully, I do this during the day, because I was, yeah, by that time, neck was killing me, started inducing a migraine, I was in a terrible mood. When I saw that Crayola is changing the name of the white crayon to Plain, hey, they're still going to call 
The black crayon. Black? That's okay, but white had to get changed to plain because white was apparently incendiary and offensive. Like you're offended by the color white. Like I'm really having a hard damn time wrapping my head around being offended by the color white. I can see that weird salmon-y color in my dining area. Fuchsia, I got kicked in the kidneys and then peed color. That's going on there. That's an offensive color. I don't know why anyone would put that on anything, but white. Like, when the hell is this garbage going to stop? When is anyone actually going to stand up and use their, your, their brain and go, uh, excuse me, that is goddamn ridiculous. That's stupid. Stop being such a pussy. It's a color. It's been around for forever. I'm sorry that the sun coming up apparently offends you too, or the grass being green. Or look, there's a white cloud in the sky, so suddenly you're triggered and start crying. Oh, the snow is white. Ah! Like it's a color. For the love of everything holy, people, stop being such pussies. Get over yourselves. Grow a pair. I mean, holy hell, we have come to the point where Crayola is changing the name of the white crayon to plain. Like, that sounds any better. That's not going to offend all the white people. Because, you know, they changed it from white because that offended everyone else. So now we're just plain. Black gets to keep theirs. Everyone gets to keep theirs. Because apparently we're the worst people ever. Well, look at the left. Just perpetuating all this stupid... And yet, yeah, I know, I physically know people that I'm friends with that fall right in line with it because they're dumb. Read the stats. They're all out there about what actually happens in the country when it comes to you. Police using their any weapon at all because the FBI gets a report on it. Oh, cops are getting, you know, killing unarmed people. Cops getting killed by what kind of people? Hate crimes, this, that, and the other. What? There's all kinds of nonsense. All the reports are out there. No, you just fall in line and listen to all the stupid crap they are spewing at you. So guess what, all you woke jokes? You're what's wrong with this country. And before I start spouting off and cussing, because I'm sure you can tell it's getting worse, I'm going to go. But enjoy your day. Watch my other show if you need something else to do. Talk about Raw last night if you're a wrestling guy. It's a good one. Like, comment, share, tell me what you think. I mean, you can post on the page. Tell me something you want me to talk about. Tell me what you think. Keep this thing growing. Damn. Plain. Because white is offending people. Yeah. But stay safe, stay healthy, talk to each other. Grow a set. For the love of everything holy and everything nice in this world, grow a pair. And you can follow me on YouTube under Jesse Rzinski or Rumble under Bearded Ski. Both my shows are on both of those channels. Wrestling with Ski has its own page here on Facebook and Facebook land. But no matter where you're watching me on, I appreciate it. And yeah, we'll carry this on tomorrow and see what pisses me off through the rest of the day. So until tomorrow, my friends, peace out. Have a good one. Bye.